there, my name's Eileen from Northern Light Tarot and tonight I wanted to ask this question for you which is, will he come back into my life in the month of November 2018? So right now, what I'd like you to do is to concentrate on this person, okay, that you're thinking about. And while you're doing that, I'd like to, you to choose which set of cards resonates with you most, okay? So we have set of cards number one, set of cards number two, and set of cards number three. So think about the person and then choose a set of cards. And then I will do my best to answer this question for you. Will he or she come back into my life in the month of November 2018? Okay then, so I'm going to set aside Set of cards number two and set of cards number three, okay? And I'm going to get on with the first reading. So I'll just move these a little bit out of the way, okay? This I will use to clarify. Okay, so this card represents you and your energies. This card represents the other person and their energies, okay? This card represents how you feel towards them. This card represents how they feel towards you. This is your past together, your future get together, and sorry, your past together, your present together, and your future together, the final outcome plus the clarifier. Okay, now what's important to remember is that this is a guidance reading. Um, it's a positive guidance, okay? From this point onwards, things can change. This is the future, okay? Dependent on your actions and their actions also, okay? So I'm gonna get on with the reading now. So your energies, okay, so I'm sensing straight away that, you know, obviously you are very, very devastated right now. Um, uh, it's it's a clear it's it, it doesn't get much clearer than this that you know you are in quite a dark place. This could well have been unexpected. It could have been even if it wasn't unexpected. Now that it's happened, okay, you are really feeling it very very deeply, and there could have been some betrayal here as well. That's what's coming through. There could have been third party involvement. That's not for all of you, but for some of you, okay? So their energy. So we have the Ace of Wands here. So they are in the process of manifesting something. So this is actually a really good indicator of energy coming towards you. They could well be one of the fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, feeling Leo quite strongly here. Apologies for the pauses, it's just me taking in the energy of the cards. So they are in the pro that they are uh, feeling feeling it, but not acting upon their feelings right now, okay? So, now, your feelings towards them. Beautiful, the Two of Cups, okay? You very much want this union. You very much want them to come back to you. That's very, very clear. We have beautiful Cups energy here. You have a strong, strong emotional bond with this person. They could be one of the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, doesn't have to be. When I talk about star signs, it can be just the energy coming from a person. So in this case, you know, it, you know, you're, you're feeling a strong emotional bond towards this person. You're feeling very, very bereft right now. I do understand that and I'm so sorry. They are at the point of manif beginning to have the idea in their, their head that they want to come towards you. They are starting to feel it outwardly. 
it's not just a subconscious feeling for them anymore. That's why I'm sensing they've moved on a little bit from this Ace of Wands. Their feelings towards you, wow, they, they are really quite devastated also. Very devastated. They, they are actually feeling your pain here, it's quite clear. You're the ten. You're the ten of swords. And then their feelings towards you, the nine of swords. They are full, they are, they are having sleepless nights. They are full of anxiety, full of worry. They do feel a very strong bond towards you. They're, they're wondering how to approach you. Let's go to this past position. And then the present. And then the future. So, past position. I do sense that there's been a big falling out here with this Justice card. I feel as though maybe both of you really felt like you needed to get things off your chest, but it's led to this situation. And we are at the point now where we're stuck in suspension. It's kind of like the messages that are coming through to me are that you feel the strong bond towards each other with this four of wands here, yet everything's hanging in suspension, things aren't moving forward in the near future. But this is, you know, with the justice card here in the past, and then this four of wands here, this is what you want with this idea. But I think that there's been a lot of hurt, and this is what you want, but you are not there yet. Okay? You're not there yet. But the bond ex still exists. Even though you're physically not together, the bond is very, very strong. And it's t and the, 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 the lack of connection that's happening right now is actually tearing both of you apart. Quite clearly. But I actually do sense with this Ace of Wands, it, it, it's, it's the card of the idea. It's an, a fiery passion. But it just hasn't, it, it's not in, in the action stage yet from him or her. It's not in the action stage. Because we have this in the near future, the hanged man. Okay? So then, oh, this is beautiful. We have the major arcana. We've moved on from the hanged man. Something fated. You may, you may be, you know... The world and the universe has a way of sorting out these issues. You may actually find yourself together in a situation that you just really weren't expecting. And the, the connection is happens, okay? And it's meant to happen. It's, it's a card of fate and it's usually such a good, good indicator. And it's a major arcana. So something's going to happen and it will be good, okay? In the past, the Justice card now is coming through to me su to suggest that you should be together, but for some reason you're not. Let's go to this clarifier. The Nine of Wands. The clear message here is don't give up. Have courage, believe in yourself. Don't give up. Do not give up on this connection. I believe that because we have the hanged man here, that they may not be coming back into your life in the month of November. But with this Wheel of Fortune in the, the, the outcome and then the don't give up, yes, they, they are coming back towards you. I'm, I'm not so sure it will be in the month of November though because there's a lot of pain here. For both of you, you both need to recover. Strong, beautiful energy from you towards him. And I sense he's worried about you as well. And he's, he's worried about coming towards you. And that's why he's in the suspension. That's why there's no action right now. He's worried about what the outcome will be if he or she comes towards you. Okay? So that was set of cards number one. Uh, 
Okay, so this is set of cards number two. I just wanted to mention that I'm, I've decided to extend my special offer for the first two weeks of November. Um, I found that my readings are helping so many people, so I, I'm getting such positive feedback. So I've decided to keep my prices lower for the first two weeks of November. Hopefully that way I can reach out to more people and uh, help guide them. Okay, so the question tonight is, um, will he or she come back into my life in the month of November 2018? Okay, so let's get on with this reading. This is the clarify card. I'll just put it over here for now. And I'm just going to lay the cards out. And here is the clarifier. So this card represents you and your present energies. This is him and his present energies. This card represents how you feel towards him. This card represents how he feels towards you. Your past together, your present together, your future together, the final outcome and the clarifier. And it's very important to mention also that these three cards are very fluid, okay? It depends on the guidance. Everything can change. Everything's fluid in the universe, okay? So uh, concentrate. All of the cards are very, very important. This is the part that can be changed with your energies, okay? So always please do remember that. Apologies for any gaps as I read. It's just me taking in the cards, okay? So your present energy, you are standing your ground very, very clearly here. Um, you're very guarded towards this person. And I feel like they, they must have hurt you. Very... Yeah, you are you are passionately uh, guarding yourself right now, and they may have hurt you. However, you are you are overwhelmingly protecting your heart because this this split has hurt you. Okay. This is beautiful. We have the nine of pentacles. This is, you know, traditionally it's the card of abundance, of things all working out okay. So with this, there could be earth energy here. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't need to be, but they have that earthy quality about them. They're very practical. And very dependable, very dependable in some respects. I'm going to carry on and uncover a few more cards now so we can get more energy from this. Um, but with this, it, it's a solid energy. So is it that you don't trust what they're offering? Has that been a problem in the past? I don't know, but that's just what's come through. <clears throat> okay, so your feelings towards them. Beautiful. You want this, very, very obviously. But you're not showing it. Have you retreated? Because this is what you want, but this is what you're showing. This guardedness. How they feel towards you. Yeah, the, 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 there's been arguments here, okay? I feel as though that you're taking a lot of persuading here that you're just don't, not trusting it right now. You want them back, but you're not trusting it. And there have been arguments. And this may be now why you're not together. Because there has been, there could possibly have been a big falling out here with this five of wands. What's good about this five of wands is this is the card of minor things that can be sorted out, okay? So 
it could be time for you to drop your guard and to um, sort of live more freely within your heart. And because when you when you let your guard down and when you show your beautiful soul and spirit and character, that's when you start to draw the positivity towards you. And I can see why you've you you've got this guarded feeling. You're 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 protecting your feelings, you're you don't want to show how much you care. Okay? Um and it's because of what's happened in the past. Okay, let's look at your past, present, future. And then let's look at this. So yeah, there's certainly been some very strong communication in the past. I feel it's this. And now we have the card of confusion. And then we have, in the future, the Knight of Wands. This is strong, rapid energy coming towards you. Okay? Or it could be going towards them. I'm sensing, however, it's them coming towards you. They are coming towards you. Most certainly. And it's swift. I do feel there's going to be some communication in, in November, most certainly. Most certainly. We've got this Ace of Swords here. We've got this King of Wands here. So there's, th there is a very passionate relationship going on here. There's passionate back and forth energy. But in the right in the centre, there's just the confusion card. Neither of you are making... The, the communication's happening, but it's, is it resolving anything? There's been past communication. There will be... I do feel with this Knight of Wands, there will certainly be communication in November. If not November, very, very, very soon. Okay? This is energy coming towards you, most certainly. Do you see the way you're standing? You're, you're guarding here, but the energy is coming towards you with this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands represents um, a, a person coming towards you with fiery, passionate energy. It's the card of action. It's action coming towards you in November. I'm really sensing that. And the outcome is that you must remain balanced, okay? With your emotions, you must remain balanced with your emotions, whatever this communication is. Queen of Swords. Yes, objective decision making. Seeing the humour in a situation. So it's telling you to stop being so guarded. Okay? Be more balanced. Okay? Let the energy come in, actually. Let the energy come in and just see what happens. Bring your guard down a little bit. That is the, the clear energy here. So is he going to come back into your life in the month of November? Yes, there is some energy, strong, passionate energy coming in here towards you. Okay? Most certainly. Yes. But remain balanced when this communication comes towards you. Because this has happened before. This is why you're so guarded. This person could be well one of these people who jumps it comes into your life and then disappears comes in and then disappears okay so yes accept it accept the energy coming towards you but you know take it for what it is and stay balanced yeah the, the, the clear energy here is for you to really really stay balanced i just want to pull one more card there is you know certainly strong energy 
swift energy coming in in November here. Yeah, somebody from your past is coming back into your life. Yes. Strength. Stay strong. Okay. You can you can handle this. That's what it's telling me. You can handle it and you and actually you're gonna remain balanced because this is the card of strength, and then we've got the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is a person who's been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So yeah, they are coming back in, but you will remain balanced and strong and aware, okay? And you don't need to be so guarded. Listen to what they've got to say. Okay, so that was set of cards number two. Now I'm going to move on to set of cards number three. Okay, just to let you know, I've decided to extend my special offer for the first couple of weeks in November. So my readings, highly personalised, video recorded, straight to your email, £25. Usually I can get them to you within 24 hours or so. Uh, Friday is quite difficult, um, but the rest of the week, no problem. Okay then, so let's get on with this reading. Will he come back into my life in the month of November? Okay, so this is the clarify card, which I'll use at the end of the reading. This is your, your energy, how you're feeling right now. This is their energy, how they are right now. This is how uh, you feel about him or her. This is how they feel about you. This is your past together, your present together, your future together, the outcome and the clarifier. It's very important to note that this part of the reading is very fluid because it can all change because this is a guidance reading. So, you know, it will all this, it will, this can change. It depends upon your energies, you know, and what you take from this reading. Okay, then. So your energy, the energy. Okay. So, then we have how you feel about them, how they feel about you. Yes, straight away with the magician in their energy and then the six of pentacles, seeing quite clearly that they want to manifest and they want to come towards you and they want to offer you They, they, they do want to communicate with you, most certainly. And they're just looking for the right time. Yeah, most certainly. They're sort of right in the middle of things now. Um, and then your energy, the Knight of Swords. And then how you see them, the Two of Wands. I do feel as though you are looking at them from afar. Okay? Most definitely. And you're wondering what's going on with them. And something's happened in the past and you, you actually quite passionately want to communicate with them. Okay, but you're not doing that. And you want them to come towards you. And with this magician card in their position and then this beautiful six of pentacles, I actually do feel that, that they have a strong pull towards you here. And... That it, it's the card of new beginning, of manifestation, and it's a major arcana, so it's the most major card here. And then we have, so we have this for, the, for their energy, and then this lovely six of pentacles. So I actually do feel that they want to come towards you, most definitely. But I feel like they need, the, there's something that they need to, to change within themselves before they do that. So let's go to the past. Yeah. They're feeling like they need to, to, to do something like kind of amazing and groundbreaking. Um, but actually they don't at all. Not with this eight of, of swords here. Then the present. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You see, we have the ace 
and with the magician. So they, they yeah, it's it's coming across quite strongly that they they do they have the cup of love, they they, they but it's we are at the, the low numbers. So so basically, it hasn't manifested yet. Okay. It's in it's in their mind. And you could also, it might be a good idea for you to contact them. I'm getting that with this Knight of Swords, which is strong communication. I feel like you feel like you shouldn't or you can't, but you can. It's no problem. You can contact them. You don't need to worry about that. And I actually feel, now I'm looking more into this, that... If you did, you'd be welcomed with open arms. This is a card of giving and receiving. So, yeah, they they would, I feel like they would have open arms, but maybe they're waiting for you. Oh, look, we've got the Nine of Cups in the future. That is just so wonderful. That's such a good indicator here. That is great. We've gone from the Ace of Cups to the Nine of Cups. That's just wonderful. You don't need to feel trapped about what's happened in the past. The past is gone, okay? It's now and the future that matters. Not the past, it's now and the future. That's the message I'm getting. Oh, wow. The Empress, abundance, beautiful completion. Yeah. I do feel they are going to come back into your life in November. The message on here from me is uh, on here to me is playful approach, which is lovely. We have the Empress. So, are they going to come back into your life in November? Yes, yes, yes. Stay balanced with it though. Yes, they are and stay balanced. Okay. Forget the past; it's gone. The past has got nothing to do with this now. Okay. Let go of that. This is, this is what's coming through really, really strongly. Okay then, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Watch out for my other videos that will be coming through for the month of November, all relating to your love, mostly love readings, but I'm going to, I've decided this month I'm going to do some career readings and, you know, future sort of like just general life purpose, you know, uh, those sorts of readings as well, and they'll be uploaded every couple of days. Okay then, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. It was such a beautiful, it was the best out of the three really. Such positive energy here with, with these three cards. Present, future and outcome. Absolutely beautiful. Okay then, take care. Bye for now.